Okay, good. so I see the first people are starting to join in. Hello and welcome to this webinar in partnership with BBW Hochschule uh, University of Applied Sciences. My name is Lavinia and I'm part of the Doc City team. I'm glad to welcome you all to this event. So while we are waiting for everyone to uh, connect, I would like to invite you to write in the chat where you are joining us from. So we get to know you a little bit better. Um, so the focus of this event will be, of course, the academic offer in the Venice campus of BBW Hochschule. Um, as you will have the, uh, the chance to get to know better the uh, university and the, uh, the programs, the uh, financial aid uh, available. Um, I would like to also mention that, of course, after the presentation, we will have a Q&A session. So whatever question you have about studying with BBW Hochschule, uh, we will be more than glad to uh, clear all your doubts and to offer you some additional insight, of course, uh, about the school. So before starting, I would like to uh, introduce you uh, to Professor Gebhard Hafer. He is the rector at BBW Hochschule. Professor, thank you for being here with us today. Yeah, hello, everyone, and um, good evening here at six o'clock in Germany. Currently, I am online here from Germany. Um, yeah, my name is Gebhard Hafer. I'm the rector of the BBW University, uh, which has two campi, one campi here in Berlin in, in Germany and the second one in Venice in beautiful Italy. I'm very honored and pleased to uh, welcome all of you on behalf of uh, the university, uh, of the academic staff, of the staff from, uh, from the administration. And I have two um, colleagues with me today. We have uh, Lorenzo Heller here. He's the operations manager from our campus uh, in Venice. And we have Kathleen Potter. Uh, she's the campus manager for uh, the um, branch in Venice, and they will present a little bit later today um, what uh, BBW University stands for, what kind of programs we offer, uh, why it should be maybe interested for you um, to uh, look deeper into our university. Um, and hopefully afterwards you uh, will have lots of questions and uh, we will try our best uh, to give you some answers. Uh, just some backgrounds about our university. We are the biggest private university in uh, the capital region of Germany. Um, Lorenzo will uh, show you a little bit later who are on our owners. Uh, we have the major blue ship companies as our owners. Uh, we have currently more than uh, 1,200 students and lots of academic programs. And some of these programs we also enrolled um, in our branch office in Venice. And um, I'll be very happy if um, some of you will um, choose Venice as the future um, study place, as the um, location where to um, jump into a bachelor program. And we will try our best to guide you through the program, um, to get you connected with companies, and in the end, um, to transfer you into employment, because employment is what everyone is looking for at the end. And that is my KPI, as we say, the key performance indicator. If we found employment or if we can transfer in, in, into employment or not. Uh, by saying this, um, yeah, I would like to hand over my um, the words to Lorenzo. So he yeah. will guide you through the program now. So enjoy this one hour. Um, I'll, be, I'll be very happy. Uh, to also answer questions later on, uh, but let's first listen to the presentation. We prepared something with real photos, so these are no photos from the internet. These are real photos yeah. from our university, and don't be surprised about the bear, which you can see here. The bear is the symbol of Berlin. Um, Venice has another uh, symbol, but Lorenzo will explain to you a little bit later. Yeah. Um, Lorenzo, the floor is yours now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Gebhardt, and Hello to everybody. We are so happy to see all these participants. We are on double digit, which is increasing, and I'm happy for this. 
So that means that maybe you are a little bit curious about us and I would like to start, uh, first of all, to give you an overview on uh, who we are and some USPs. Um, we have been founded in 2007. As Gebhardt uh, said, we are a private university which belongs to major uh, groups. So we are not belonging to the state and we have plenty of, uh, let's say big companies, blue chip companies, which are on the board of management. We have 22 industries uh, program. And uh, as I said before, our strength, our core strength are the industry partners, which in this case are almost 200. We have four study departments and we are registering 1000 uh, students a year, uh, which is not the dimension of a big university nor from a little one. Um, we are a middle university and uh, which has the focus on people, so on small classes. And that's the reason why we want to stay stable, uh, uh, let's say with, uh, with the size of um, people. Um, we have more than 40 nation nationalities. They are coming all over, especially because if you think about Germany, uh, one of the core attributes of Germany is engineering, uh, um, which is one of the course we will, um, we will show later on. And therefore, uh, having this positioning, uh, uh, we are having plenty of people coming from abroad, also from Far East, from India. Uh, because they, they know they're going to have a bright uh, future and solid basics, let's say, when it comes to our teaching met methodology. Uh, for this reason, because of uh, focusing on, let's say, small classes, being very related to, uh, let's say, to companies, uh, and uh, having professors which are coming from the industry, um, we have 97% employment rate within one year from graduation. Um, if I have to say more on, on this figure, we have almost 50% which, uh, which have a contract during the last year of their study. Uh, for this reason, I mean, uh, students are ranking us um, positively when it comes to, let's say, to, to the quality of the university. Uh, we are using and we have learned even more how to use e-learning over these two years. And uh, nonetheless, also before the pandemics, uh, we were dedicating 30% on e-learning, which gives you the opportunity uh, to also focus on other, um, on, on other topic. Uh, internship. Internship is for us uh, a core focus as uh, on each course we are providing uh, two mandatory internship. As I was saying, as Professor Hafer was saying before, uh, being a university, uh, a private university which belongs to company means that company wants to have people which are, let's say, molded on their uh, needs. And for this reason, um, a part of the theoretical learning, we are having 400, Euro, 400 hours which are dedicated to internship uh, abroad. And the board, as I was saying, is made up of major blue chip companies. And below you can see it's spanning from automotive till um, electro electronic, uh, till uh, chemicals and so on. Um, I'm going further down. Okay, what are we offering in uh, Venice? Basically, the, we are offering one, uh, seven semester bachelor in business management and engineering, um, which uh, has a fees, monthly fee of 550 uh, for six semester. So it gives us 23,100. And we are uh, proposing three bachelor courses, which are part of the business management and economics departments with focus on fashion management, media and event management, and tourism management. Um, basically, uh, the, the, the good thing and the positives of these um, programs are that you are having during these three 
um, these three bachelors, you are having um, a, a lot of, uh, let's say, training on everything which relates to economics. And you're getting a degree in uh, business management and economics. Uh, this would mean that if tomorrow somebody who has worked in the, in the fashion environment, because coming from fashion management, would like to change, uh, he would and he can do it uh, because he has a basics uh, of business management and economics. Uh, so this will give you also the possibility to be to have a broader approach also in the future. Uh, coming back, I will run through. I, I see that many of you have um, have downloaded the, the let's say the, the presentation, and therefore I will skip through. Um, in order then to, to have the opportunity, I will skip to quickly in order then to have the opportunity to get more time for the Q&A. Um, in terms of uh, business management and engineering, as I said, it's part of the industrial engineering. Uh, it's in English. This is another point. We are focusing on international internationalization. And for this very good reason, uh, what we want to do, we want to deliver standards, uh, meaning by that, that we want to have homogeneous classes, which are able to progress at the, at the same time. And for doing this, if you are uh, having lessons uh, in English, uh, you would need to have a B2. All our courses are taught in English, and uh, that's the reason why we're asking the certificate. The location is obviously Venice, Duration and the duration is seven semester, and the start of studies is either in October 2022 or April 2023. Um, I'll show you just the basics uh, studies uh, for now. As you can see, uh, you are spanning from mathematics for engineers uh, to basic of engineering. Um, not forgetting business law, economics, and cost accounting. So the aim of this, uh, of this course is really to put together the skills which are giving you the, um, the knowledge of spending effectiveness, effectiveness uh, through everything which relates to economics and as well linked together with everything which relates with engineering. Um, the contents of this curriculum are quite specific and therefore this is uh, one of the most sought um, course after uh, from people who are coming from STEM, so from, um, from scientific, um, let's say, studies, uh, secondary studies. Uh, then you are going through with the advanced studies where uh, you have advanced manufacturing systems, 4.0, which is something which is really, really important on these days. You have supply chain management, digitalization, and obviously, as we are focusing also on everything which is um, international environment, we are also focusing on the intercultural management. Um, going to tourism, now we are skipping uh, to just another to just another level as we are talking about uh, business and administration and economics uh, here we just have seven semesters and the reason for this is that in the previous uh, uh, business management and engineering one semester is dedicated to german language uh, as there is a uh, plenty of opportunity in terms of engineering in germany as uh, um, I mean, also Gebert can testify, um, there is a really, really um, deep need of engineers in Germany and obviously also in Italy. Um, so therefore we just have six semesters and also there we have online uh, teaching. Now, in this chart, which is going to be replicated three times, you will see that you have, first of all, uh, an overview on everything which relates economics and business law, right? So you need to, to know how to do a p and um, There will be some also, um, I would say, simulation of business games. Um, you will uh, have a deep, 
uh, induction in project management. And obviously, you will have, as you had in the previous uh, course, uh, the practical phase, which is one of the two uh, seminars we are uh, granting um, abroad. Now, when it comes then to the part which is uh, based on tourism, you have uh, marketing, you have uh, tourism policy, everything which relates to law, and you have a strong focus on digitalization as tourism is moving uh, in terms of a consumption target and in terms also in uh, the way you are communicating tourism. Um, then we have three specific points which are dedicated to tourism, which is health tourism, hospitality and hotel management and cruise management, which are uh, three of the emerging, um, let's say, uh, channels where uh, we are focusing with tourism, especially when it comes to third age. Um, perspective after graduation, also there you can you can span everywhere from a travel agent um, from tour operator to event management to cruise ships um, and to institution of regional tourist planning uh, just to give you an, uh, an idea what's happening now in venice they are trying to get a close number um, methodology to avoid that the um, beautiful city would be spoiled and uh, destroyed by too many tourists and um, they are developing uh, some software as well as uh, some uh, marketing and a complete structure to do this that's the reason why uh, when you are going in a regional institution uh, it's not just to put some stamps let's say but we are training people really to be highly focused in the tourism area and um, having good in mind that they also need to have uh, economic basics. Um, this is fashion management, which is which has the same fees as the, the previous one. Also there we have uh, English as a language. And also there, as you can see, we have the first part, which is just focusing on the basic of economics and then you shift to fashion so first figures numbers and then let's uh, let's go on something more creative um, also there we have something very interesting when it comes to fashion technology and fabrics uh, with a special focus on 3d printing um, we are also organizing uh, we are in touch with the chamber of mode in um, in berlin uh, and Berlin, by the way, might not be um, as Florence or whatever. However, it has, in terms of fashion, it has one of the most important uh, fashion fair all over Europe, uh, and it's really trendy. I mean, in Berlin, it's uh, really nice if you look fashion, as you will have the possibility really to do trend scouting. Perspective after graduation. Also there, you see, you are starting from brand management, which is a position where you will have uh, the possibility of positioning a brand, knowing as well all the facts which are, which are behind in terms of economic. Um, last one is media and event management. And again, um, Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Professor Hafa is uh, answering, which is perfect, and thanks for this. I have a second one who's asking, how does a semester typically work? How, ma how many hours of class a day? How many exams? And thank you. As of from my side, and then I will hand over uh, to Kathleen, because I mean, this is something which might be interesting for everybody. Um, on the overall hour of the semester, 25, 30% is in line, is online, is the first thing. And the exam works like this. Each uh, semester is built up in module. You are getting the module of uh, basic of economics. And once the module is finished, 
uh, you are uh, getting straight on uh, the exam, which is allowing you not to, um, not to lose time in putting all together as we are used to do in the normal university where you have the semester, you have uh, the lessons, and then you are closing the semester getting three, four, five exams. Here, it's the other way around. You are having a module, you are getting your, um, let's say your exam after the module and you are going straight on. Um, how many hours of class a day? Uh, Kathleen, can you help me on this? This is uh, in the terms of the planning, so it's not fixed. So we will have a, like a semester fixed plan, which you get in front, and there will be uh, stated how many hours you have per day. Okay. Thank you. And can we work while studying? Yes, uh, you can work like but studying. Lorenzo, can I just interfere? Shall we do the questions in the at the end of the presentation? Yeah, as you want. But anyway, this uh, semester thing was quite interesting because I mean, it's something which is, let's say, overlapping. But I'm going directly here to media and event management, where you see also there, um, we still have all the elements which are going to allow you to get a degree in business management and economics. And here is the focus in, here you have it, uh, the focus in the media. So you have media in the industry. So here you are going from the creative side to the production side and planning side. Um, and by planning, I also mean media planning and media buying. Uh, media buying is something where we are also focusing a lot um, in Italy, I don't know in the other countries, but uh, the investment in advertising, so therefore in media planning is uh, more than uh, 30 billion. Uh, Euro, so uh, there is a lot of opportunity there to, to get into uh, this process because it's quite creative, also media planning, as well as uh, generating great results in terms of uh, economics. Um, then, as uh, we saw for the other um, courses, uh, we see where you can have a little bit of where you can find your way from advertising marketing and communication communication agencies without forgetting event management however uh, in these years uh, everything which relates with media and event are having a kind of a 360 degree approach and this means that uh, even if you're working in a marketing or communication agency you would still need have uh, everything you need in terms to set up a decent uh, event and everything which relates to production and conception of media. Uh, so we are offering everything which uh, will give you the opportunity to, um, to be, let's say, successful in an, envir in an environment with, which is changing dramatically. Um, what are our services? I and mean, I wouldn't call them services. Uh, I apologize for this mistake. I would call them USP. Uh, first of all, I was saying we have small study groups, no more than 15 people. Uh, and these people are going to get a tutor. Um, as Gebert was always saying the first time we met, uh, we know our students by name. And obviously, if you have 15, 20, 15, 16, 17 people per class, uh, you will have more opportunity to understand their needs and to push them when it, it's needed. Um, as I was anticipating, we have a fixed plan semester schedule, meaning that once you have finished the semester, you have already finished all your exams because you are going module by module. We have our own job portal in uh, Germany. And uh, most important, we have a career service center. And this career service center is, let's say, the <laughs> Uh, is the clutch, uh, is, the, um, is the most important uh, tool we have in putting together uh, students and um, companies. 
Uh, this means that uh, once we understand what are your needs, what are your talents, uh, and what are the, the branch you prefer in, in, in the frame of the course you're studying, you are going to get in contact with the career service center who is going to select uh, some, uh, um, let's say, some companies. Obviously, it's up to you then to go through an interview. Uh, and if uh, both of uh, you and the company are like are liking themselves, you are going to start. Uh, somebody is going to start the uh, let's say the um, internship. Otherwise, you are going to select another another company. The good thing of having two um, two internship is that the size of our company network is given by blue chips, so multinational. Uh, and small and medium enterprises. That means that in the second case, you will be in a much more operative level. So you can also shift your needs saying, I'll try in a big company, I'll try in a smaller one. And so in order to have um, at least after two uh, internship an idea on where we are going or where you would like to go. Um, Venice, uh, in Venice, uh, obviously, for those who are far away from Venice, and I see there are plenty, uh, we are also uh, a contact on site for accommodations with different solutions, which are going from uh, shared room to also shared flats. So once we are, we should go in deep into a uh, um, discussion with you. Uh, if you want to go on and to go further with the Hochschule, then we are going also to uh, put you in contact um, with the people who's in charge for. Uh, last but not least, the requirements, university entrance qualification. And as I said before, English language level B2. Uh, some of our partners, just to give you um, an idea on the left side from the academic point of view, we are also quite strong in uh, partnership uh, with uh, China and as well as in Moscow, where we have a double degree and some more companies which are part of our, of our network. Um, we are organizing obviously uh, today this uh, online international uh, information event. We are also organizing virtual tours. That means that uh, you all have my contact. And what I usually do is uh, we say, do you want to see where we are? So we are meeting in directly in Venice and then you are getting a little tour from the stop of the water bus uh, till our premises, um, just to show you in what beautiful and nice place we are. And obviously we are at your disposal for personal and individual student counseling, Kathleen and I. Uh, last but not least, before we, we start uh, with our Q&A, um, as we were also mentioning in our communication, in our advertising uh, communication, uh, we are starting in October and in uh, uh, July, and we will grant, uh, let's say, um, uh, we say a happy a welcome bonus or um, yes, a welcome bonus, uh, which uh, is 10% off of the tuition fee of the first six months uh, on the first year for all students which are going to register by the end of August. Uh, happy, uh, now, happy birth. How do you say, Kathleen? Uh, it's the early bird. Early bird, early bird. Sorry, I was mixing up uh, with the happy hour and early bird. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now, thank you for your attention. And uh, we are open to all your questions. Okay, uh, Lorenzo, I would uh, take one question right away. It's uh, the, can you tell us more about the admission process? Mm -hmm. So, yes, um, if you decide to study with us in, in Venice, you uh, should send to my hands 
all your documents. That means I need the English language certificate, which proves that you have the English uh, language level of minimum B2. That can be a, a certificate like a TOEFL or some certificate from uh, any authorized uh, language test school who can give you a certificate. What we are usually not accepting is a certificate from your school that you had English in your school or something like that. We need a official certificate from someone who's testing you independently. Then we need a university entrance qualification. That means um, a school leaving certificate. Yeah, when you finish your 12th uh, grade or 13 here in Germany, um, that paper, that certificate, that uh, finishing school finishing certificate, we would also need. Um, then I need your CV, yeah, that shows us uh, all the important information about you. And what would be good is a um, motivation letter. So if you have everything collected, you send everything to my email, which you will receive, or maybe you have already, but at the end of this um, meeting, you will get all information and you send to my hand. Then I will, we will have a brief look at that at your documents. If you are non-EU citizen, um, then you have to pay an application fee of 150 euro, which we have now some good uh, digital um, um, like an app. Yeah, that is Unibody it's called, and there you can easily transfer from all over the world that application fee. That application fee is for our uh, student counselary to check all your documents because you might have some documents from India, from Africa, and so on, and we must see uh, if all requirements are fulfilled. If you are non, if you are from EU countries, you don't need to pay the application fee. You just send the documents to me and I will forward all documents to our uh, student counselary and they uh, will then prove your documents also. And we will receive the information if you match all the requirements which we need and then we continue further with the signing in the immatriculation to our university but all information you receive uh, from me when i'm on vacation or something then lorenzo is um, the person you can talk to but uh, anyway we are always at your disposal. So if you have also questions regarding that, you can always contact me or Lorenzo. May, may I just add uh, two very important things I forgot uh, during my presentation. The first one is there is no entry test required. And um, the reason why we want your motivation letter is uh, because um, obviously if you are having good result in the high school and you know B2, what we have to do, or you have B2, the only thing we have to do, we have to differentiate in terms of personality. And what we want is to have really uh, motivated and smart people around us. This is the first thing. The second thing, which is even more important is the, um, the BW Hochschule is a recognized university from uh, the state, from, from Germany and uh, from the Ministry of Education. This means that the bachelor, which are released by the BW Hochschule are valid at European level. All our bachelors are, a part of being valid, are uh, uh, scoring HCTS point uh, which are point which are recognized at European level. And this means that 
if you are if you have a bachelor with us after three years you're getting 180 acts points and then you would like to make a master somewhere else then this 180 ACTS points are going to be recognized and will be, uh, let's say, compensated uh, together with the master program. Um, then there is, uh, yeah, there is a, a question here, uh, maybe Kathleen, can we choose where to study or our programs uh, are offered in the two campuses? Mm, uh, <laughs> mm. It is like that. Uh, for example, the um, the bachelor in business management and engineering we are offering in two campi in English language. So there's a possibility to choose either you want to study in Berlin or in Venice. The, the curricula, the curriculum is the same. Yeah. So you could also switch between the two campi. That means, the, for example, the first uh, semester you are studying in Venice and the second one and third and fourth you want to be in, in Berlin, that is possible. Uh, Professor Hafer, maybe you can say something about uh, the other um, study programs which are currently in Berlin in German language. Um, but I think that in the future, the strategy will be also that we can switch one, two semester also to Berlin. But that is something what must be uh, decided by the, um, the directors of the university. Okay. Well, the, the, the overall idea, of course, is that um, you have as much flexibility as um, you want. However, in reality, it usually shows that um, you need to find accommodation, for example. So uh, once you uh, sign a rental contract for accommodation, um, it will be maybe challenging to, to change every half year. So uh, when you decide to maybe to change the location from Berlin to Venice and back, you should really think about what kind of uh, contracts for accommodation you need to have. And uh, that, that's why um, I'm a little bit reluctant saying um, it, it is very, from, from our point, it's very easy. But um, in reality, it shows that you need to live somewhere and you need to find a flat, for example. And um, you should really consider this uh, during your decision making um, where, where and how many semesters you want to study where. Thank you so much, Professor Hafer. Um, we still have some questions and I know that we answered many um, yeah. in written, but I would like to get to the maybe most common ones. Um, so as far as the uh, internships and partner companies go, I think that could be a point of interest for all the participants. So maybe we can re re repeat that before we get to, um, to the rest of the questions. Uh, you have, let's say, the, the frame of the project. Once you know what's the, let's say, what's the point you would like to develop in, in, in your skill set, then you're getting in touch with the career center. Career center is getting in touch with one of the 200 partners, obviously, which are focusing with the, with the course we are discussing about. And then you get an interview process with the company. Right, which is really not, uh, it's more a motivational process uh, where people try to understand what are your, uh, your soft skills. And um, considering that most of our professors, I would say to 90%, um, are working in the industry, they are in a managerial position in the industry. Sometimes you have the professor who's just keeping. A student which is brilliant taking him uh, in his uh, company for the let's say uh, for the stage just having an eye on him because you you never know but usually is project career center list of um, let's say list of companies you are doing your stage once you are getting back you are discussing your project and the overall project is 400 hours 
are giving you a CTS points, which are adding up to the final score of the bachelor. Thank you so much for the thorough explanation. And once again, apologies. Unfortunately, Zoom is not cooperating yeah. tonight. Um, so we have a question in the chat from Federico. He's um, asking uh, if he has achieved an IB diploma in English language, does he still need to present a B2 level certificate of English? For that, um, that is uh, a thing we must clarify with the student counselary. So he should uh, send to me the IB diploma and I will clarify with the counselary if this is sufficient or not. And then I will get back to him. Thank you so much, Kathleen. So of course, for all participants, you will get an email with the uh, recording of the event and also all the information to reach out to BBW Hochschule. So if you need to take your uh, personal situation further, uh, you will have the means to do that. So thank you once again, Federico, for your question. To move to the other questions, um, Maria is asking if uh, students get to choose where they study. We, all, we answered this already, but she's also asking if the programs are offered uh, irrespectively in the two campuses. So if the same programs are offered both in Berlin and, and Venice. Yes, yes, they are. Because the, the program uh, as being certificated, you also have to be certificated in your curriculum. And therefore, uh, if you grant 180 HCTS point on the German curriculum, this has to be one-to-one -one the same as in, um, as in Italy. Thank you very much. So Gloria is asking how early would you recommend to start the process of uh, finding accommodation and preparing one's documents for the application process. She also asks if it's possible to start maybe remotely and then join on campus. Well, uh, to me, uh, to me, what I would say is uh, the sooner the better, just because of the the planning for the accommodation, right? Um, we can, so I, I would say, obvious, obviously they have to make up their mind. So they have to think, but I, I would say that uh, we are now, I would say mid July, we, we have to be really, really there just to find uh, all the, let's say, the, 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 the um, accommodations. Another, another thing we were discussing with uh, Professor Hafa and with Kathleen uh, was the possibility of organizing, uh, um, let's say, a taste lecture. We do have taste lecture for business management and engineering. Uh, however, it's all about maths and physics, so not, not that sexy. And we were discussing uh, with Professor Brunotte if we might have something more interesting, for instance, 3D uh, print uh, or something like that. Um, this just to tell you that we, are, we have all your, um, let's say, all your contact. I guess, and as soon we will have uh, um, a date for this taste lecture. If we will have some more also for tourism or for business management and engineering, we will send out an invitation in order for you to have the opportunity really to, to have the look and feel of this university. Thank you so much for the, uh, the insight. Uh, I just wanted to add that uh, I sent in the chat a link where participants can request their certificate of attendance by Doc City. They can let us know if they enjoyed this event, why did they join, and we'll be happy to provide the certificate. To go to the last question I see in the Q&A box, um, Gloria is also asking if uh, participants can uh, start remotely and then join, uh, join oh, yeah, on, on right. the campus. There Thank you. I... Uh, may, maybe either Kathleen or, or Gebhardt, because there I'm not so, I'm not yeah. so in. Well, uh, in the last uh, two years, uh, we were 100% online um, because of this uh, COVID pandemic. Um, and we found out that um, after one and, a year, one and a half years, we changed to hybrid lessons. So we gave uh, the students the chance to either participate in the classes um, 
or the, in the lectures in the classroom or online. But in reality, we found out that uh, most of the students actually wanted to go back to the classroom. Mm -hmm. So most of our lecturers, um, they prefer to have the lessons in uh, the classroom. However, it might be during the lessons um, that some of the uh, lectures will be held also online. Um, and if there is a group, for example, where uh, 80, 90% come from abroad and they still are facing problems with visa pr uh, procedures, for example, then you, we usually decide that at the beginning we start online. And um, once you are in Venice or in, in, in um, Germany, then you can change um, to the um, classroom situation and then you can participate uh, in the classroom. So it depends a little bit on your specific group situation. If there are many who have problems with the visa, of course, then we try our best to um, find a solution for this one. But if most of you are already in Venice, for example, then of course, then uh, we would like to start in the classroom because that's for the learning process. I must say this is much better. Thank you very much, Professor Hafer. So Federico is also asking, what is the application deadline? Application deadline. So we have the first one, which is the um, early bird and then the application line, uh, deadline for October. Is, is it, uh, it mid-September, mid Kathleen? No, it's uh, 30, 31st of, uh, of August. Ah, okay. Because okay. we have to plan the, the study groups. We have a, a big administration behind that. Of course, thank you both for the answer. So I don't see any more questions, but I do want to invite all participants that might still have some doubts or questions to come forward and we'll be happy to help. In the meantime, I just wanted to uh, quickly go back to the um, semester structure. I saw that a participant asks about how many hours of class a day, how many exams during the year. So uh, if you can maybe elaborate again on that, I think it would be interesting for all participants to hear. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the winter semester usually starts at the beginning of, of October. And it lasts until the end of um, or mid, sometimes mid of February. Um, in between, there are one or two weeks off for Christmas season. And usually you have uh, during one semester, five to six modules, and each of it are 60 teaching hours. So you can now figure out it's like 300 to 360 hours per semester. But don't uh, underestimate this. There's also um, um, a workload behind that. So we also expect that um, you study yourself, like in the library, for example, or you just recapture what you learned in the classes. The summer semester usually starts at the beginning of April, um, and it lasts until uh, the end of June, middle of July. And then usually uh, you have uh, time for uh, internships afterwards. So it might be starting in uh, August. Usually September is then free. So you have some time also to relax a little bit um, in between the two semesters. Thank you very much, Professor Hafer. So Federico is also asking if you have any open days scheduled so that uh, prospective applicants might visit yeah. the Venice campus. I would say each each day is an open day as we are as we are there. So the only thing we would need is to to have um, at least a chat the day before, a couple of days before, and then we will be gladly driving them to our premises. That's great news. Um, so another point of interest that I think would be useful for participants that are still with us now, um, maybe some more information on studying and working at the same time. So can students do that? Do you offer any support in finding um, like some part time jobs, for example? 
Yeah, I can I can try to answer this one uh, because it has uh, two different components. Uh, one yeah. component is a legal component, um, and the other one is um, how to find a job and is it easy to find a job. Um, about the time frame, the time restrictions, um, you can assess or calculate more or less twenty hours maximum, if for working time as a part-time student, for example. If you exceed it, usually there is a problem. Um, the companies will ask you that you should uh, reduce it to 20 hours. Um, during that time, when there are no lessons, you can exceed these 20, 20 hours. So you can go beyond the 20 hours. Uh, most of our students, um, well, they have three funding for sources. Uh, the first source is usually the parents, so uh, usually the parents um, contribute budgets to the students. Um, secondly, some of them get um, support by the state. We have a BAföG program here in Germany, for example. And thirdly, a lot of students are working. So they um, are every week going to some work and uh, try to get practical experience, but also finance themselves. And my experience is that uh, most of these students, they find a work, working place uh, as a, as a part-time student. So um, I think um, uh, on the one hand in, in Venice, secondly, also in Berlin, it will be not so difficult to find a part-time job, actually. Especially Thank you so much. The, especially not in Venice uh, with uh, everything which relates to tourism. Yeah. yeah. Thank you both so much for the uh, information. So I don't see any more questions, but I do want to ask all of you if you wanted to uh, add any further information that participants might uh, get use from. What we can do, uh, Lavinia, if you agree, uh, we, can, um, we can share this information then with everybody. So what we have just presented, you can share it with them. And then obviously we are getting in touch and we are, we are there to, to answer to whatever, whatever is going to arise. Fantastic news. Thank you so much. So uh, one final question from Federico. Uh, he asks if it would be possible to visit the school tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Monday. Monday, of course, we can get you in touch absolutely uh, with either uh, Lorenzo or Kathleen, and uh, they they will get back to you for sure. So, so you, will see, you will see the both of us because Kathleen will be also there on Monday, so we can uh, we can go through everything. Fantastic! Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much to BBW Hochschule for their presence tonight. Lorenzo, Kathleen, and of course Professor Hafer, thank you so much for taking the time to answer all the questions and to give participants more insight into the school. Um, once again, thank you to all of you who connected and who stuck with us till the end. Uh, it has been my pleasure to moderate this uh, session. And of course, I hope to see you uh, for the next event, hopefully with BBW Hochschule. Um, and once again, keep an eye out for your email inbox. You will get an email with the recording of the event. So thank you so much. I wish everyone a nice evening and see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.